I'm Connor, and I'm from Rio Frio's class. Right I'm Antoine, I'm a genius. I'm Chris, and I play the man behind the shades. Yo, get this, Mr. Kessler's class. I'm about to go ask this chump what supply is. Bet you he gets it really wrong. Super late. Excuse me, sir. Yes. If you had to give me a definition of supply, what would it be? Well, supply is when the Tibetan monks use harmonics to levitate large boulders high into the air up mountains. That might be the you worst that? definition I have ever heard. Who, who was your economics teacher? Well, oh. Mr. Rio Frio, of course. That's why Mr. Rio Frio is no Mr. Custeder. I'm about to go ask this chick what demand is, and I bet you she doesn't know the answer. Excuse me, miss. Alright. What is the definition of demand? Demand? Yes. Um, the desire, ability, and willingness to buy a product? That's perfect. Mr. Cassiter taught me. Can I have a sample? Oh, thank you very much. No. Have a good day. You too. Yes. I had a question. Mm -hmm. Out of everything in this cart, what would be the first thing you put back if the price went up a couple dollars? Oh, well, I'd put back the Glade plugins, of course. My house already smells like magic. Well, thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> like, for real, though, this is the coolest spot in Costco. Pun intended. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Out of everything on this aisle, if the price were to go down by, let's say, 20%, what would you buy more of? Hmm, I don't know. Let me look. You know what? I'd buy dill pickles. Because if the price of dill pickles went down 20%, I would love to have two of these. Because it'd just be like I'm stealing pickles. That's very interesting, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Does it work? How awful is this? Well, they it's really awful. Don't... Hello, sir. I was wondering if an item were to go up in price by a few dollars, what would be an example of an item that you would still buy even if the price significance was around a quarter of the price? Well, I would still buy Brina Fancy Feet because my cat <laughs> loves Brina Fancy Feet and it hates frisky, so I'd happily pay more for it. Perfect. Sold. This place is so dirty. I can't move it. Okay, I, I can get the you to the Alright, now you might be asking yourself, what's an elastic product? And to find a good example of this, I look no farther than the Sprite. No. Like always, the first question. Can the purchase be delayed? As much as I love to drink soda, I can delay the purchase. I don't need to have this Sprite right now. I can make do with water. So can the purchase be delayed? Absolutely. The answer is yes. So I give this one yes. The second question is, are there adequate substitutions available? That's also another yes, because as you see right next to it, boom, you got 7-Up. And if you don't want your uh, lemon lime kind of soda, you got Crush, Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, right? That's another yes. So that already gives us two yeses. Now, of course, the last question is, um, does it use a large portion of my income? At 8.65 for a 32 pack, I don't view it as a large portion of my income, so that's going to be another no. But with two yeses and one no, you're still going to have an elastic product. Because when you have more yeses than noes, then it's an elastic product. For that simple question, I have a simple we answer. Huggies. Mm -hmm. Huggies? Can the purchase be delayed? Absolutely not. Why? If you have a baby, are you going to be up all night? No, you don't want to hear crying. So you got to buy the Huggies right away. Second, um, are there adequate substitutions? The answer to that question is yes. You got just Kirkland baby wipes. You got Supreme diapers, also done by Kirkland. You got Huggy Snug and Dry, which are different than Huggy's Natural Care, Care Plus, right? So, 
there are adequate substitutions, which is a yes. So that's one no, one yes. The third, does it use a big portion of income, right? Now get this. At $24.99 for a thousand hundred and twenty-two count of Huggies, that's unit price of two about two cents per diaper. So that gives us another no. Which brings our grand total to two no's and one yes. Now, when you have more no's than yeses, that makes an item inelastic.